So, welcome back to another milk run. On this one, I'm in the 912. The weather has turned, everything is amazing. Or it's not. Um, it's a bit of a strange one because, uh, well, firstly, welcome back to the channel and the milk run. Um, thank you to everybody who's hit subscribe, like, um, sent me messages, and also, um, if you know, hit subscribe if you want to keep watching videos of me doing stupid things, silly things, talking nonsense mostly, then please hit subscribe. If you don't, then I'll, my feelings will be hurt. Um, this is a slightly strange milk run because I've just jumped in the car, headed off. Uh, what I did was there's a problem with the car, and I explained in the last video where the um, the rotor in the distributor kept working loose the one that came with the uh, power spark electronic ignition now I've taken it off and I've put in the old one and it's kind of fired up and by the time I get to this point in the road uh, it's normally revving a bit higher but it still kind of work I, I can't it feels okay but it's on you know kind of 1200 rpm and as it's warming up, it should hopefully stay around there, maybe 1400 maximum. I've not really adjusted anything since. Um, kind of goes okay, which is good. Um, so I've done that and we're out and about. There's some amazing updates on the merch front. Um, I can't believe I was talking about this so long ago where people were asking me about merch and I didn't know what merch was, so I had to go look it up. Um, Whereas now, obviously I've got the stickers, which I've told you about. And if you've seen my Instagram, my sister has embroidered the logo onto a, a, just a piece of cotton for me. And I always was loath to ask her because um, I didn't want to tell her about my YouTube channel. And she's so busy with work, home life, all of those things that well, she's a textile designer. Um, that I just sent her the logo and I said oh could you embroider this for me onto a uh, onto a piece of cloth and I just want to see what it looks like and she's got a really high-tech embroidery machine and uh, she just did it and sent it back to me and, and you've seen on Instagram and I'll insert it in here the video and the photo that she sent and it looks fantastic now the thing about my sister is she is a perfectionist so she now says well actually I'll need a few days to tweak the design and get it just right she's not happy with how it looks um, but what she's going to do is I'm gonna get run over by her Isuzu thing um, and then what will happen is she'll have tweaked the design made it just how she's happy with it, that chair I'm gonna be lying down in a minute um, and then she'll be able to almost industrialize it um, so she'll just be able to, if I want something embroidered, she'll just be able to embroider it. Now at some point, when she's got a minute, she's going to go, what is this? Why are you asking me to do this? Uh, and I'll have to fess up. But I don't know if I'll have to swear to secrecy or by then, I'll have hit, you know, I don't know, a thousand subscribers. It won't look like some lame little thing I'm doing. And I'll be able to say to her, this is what it is. And I'll be able to tell my brothers and my friends and it'll all be great. Um, but also, in other huge news, I've resigned from my job. Now, as you know, since the lockdown, I've, I've just been having these thoughts about, oh my God, is this, is this what life is? Just work, 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 as the song goes. And, um, and I can't, I'm not, you, you just can't enjoy the fruits of your labors because the fruits of your labors are the money that you make that pays the bills, the house that you live in with the people that you live in. And it was just work, 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 work. Even when I wasn't working, I was thinking about work. And when I wasn't um, thinking about work, I was trying to sleep, but it wasn't letting me sleep. So everything was just felt a bit labored and I wasn't happy. And I felt like I was losing my mind slightly. And even to the point that my wife would say, you look miserable. It wasn't that I hated my work. It wasn't that I hated the people that I work with. It, and it was the, the things that I was trying to achieve in my work 
the customers that I was working with, they always wanted a really watered down version of it. And I always felt like, I always felt like, is this, is this what it's about? Is this what life is? Is this what I'm trying to get out of life, my life? And uh, it got to the point where my wife turned around and said, you're just not happy, why don't you just resign? Um, so I've done that. I'm in the, in the process of negotiating when I can leave, uh, which will be very soon. The weather is turning. I'm thinking of going to Caffeine Machine, Podium Place in Newbury. Um, I'm going to Classics at the Clubhouse. I'm going to go to as many events as possible between now and uh, now and the end of August. Um, and I, I need to think about what I'm going to do next about work as well. I need to earn money because we've got a massive mortgage, we've got bills, bills, bills. So I need to just sort my life out. Um, so I have to just stop to delete stuff off my SD card. Now I use a GoPro Hero 8 Black and none of them are easy to take the SD card out of, the battery out of, to swap out, so it's all a bit of a blah But anyway, uh, the thing that I was talking about was that I've got to pay the bills, so I've got to earn some money. And I don't know what, what I need to do to do that. Do I just go and find another job doing the same thing? Do I go and do something completely different? I don't know. So in the last video I talked about when you get to a certain standard of living and that means you know mortgage payments and all the other things that come with that life that you've kind of you know pushed yourself into a corner kind of thing where you have to earn that money and it limits your options so I really need to think about what I'm going to do next uh, and I think what I need to do right now is at first just enjoy the freedom, enjoy the weather, do the things that, I, that make me happy, have a bit of a reset in my mental health and then and then go back to uh, and then go back to thinking about well harness the fear about what should, what should I do next. Now at the moment the thing that I should be doing is fitting seatbelts. That's what I'll be doing now. I am going to fit seatbelts. The ones that I've got, just fit them and then take it from there. Uh, see how they feel. I, I need to think about possibly getting new seats, but I don't have the money now. I literally have no money to spend anything on anything new because I won't have a job. Possibly within the space of a couple of weeks. Now the type of work that I do is long projects and at the time uh, long big projects. Now at the time I've deliberately handed in my, or given my notice when I've come to the end, end of a series of projects which means that I can leave quicker than I want than I would have done previously. I'm on a three month notice period but uh, I would be allowed to leave earlier. Now the problem with leaving earlier obviously is that I won't get paid. If I leave in two weeks I'll get paid for the next two weeks. If I leave in a month I'll get paid for the next month. Um, now on top of that we're moving house so there's so much stuff going on and have I done this thing where I've just... Have I done something stupid? Well I, I do What's the word? I do act on impulse quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I, I do act on impulse quite a lot. And it doesn't always, it isn't always a good thing. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Oh, you're not happy, you're not happy with out work, with what you're doing. Well, just quit. Depends what you're doing, what your commitments are, what kind of sport you have at home and I've been incredibly lucky um, on all of those fronts but who knows what the future holds all I know is I'm going to enjoy doing the things that I like I'm going to really take advantage of the fact that I'm off during the summer months so I can spend time with my children and my wife go and see my mum that kind of stuff so those are the things I'm going to do um, and I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do with on with that merch. Am I going to sell it? Am I going to set up a website? Am I going to just send it out? I can't really afford to do that now. I think I'm going to have to 
set up a website, like e-commerce site, and sell it. Um, yeah, but also I'm gonna get onto my friend who's got a brand new uh, Yaris GR. I might do a bit of an alternative review of it because uh, you know me, I'm not very good at doing uh, review reviews that um, you know Chris Harris or someone would do. It would be more like, hey, my everyday car is a crusty old 996 uh, with 150,000 miles on it. What do I, as an everyday user, much like everybody watching, think of the Yaris GR? And I'll give it a drive. Wouldn't hoon it like crazy, but I would see what it could do. I'm not a brilliant driver. I'm not a rally driver. I'm not any of those things. I'm just a normal driver. I like to think that I'm quite a safe driver. Um, so yeah, just gonna work out um, what the future might be. There's not much more that I can say at this stage uh, because I don't know. Um, so once I work all my shit out, um, I'll provide an update. In the meantime, hit subscribe, hit like, um, message me, look me up on uh, Instagram, and then what I'll do is, um, I'm gonna use that now that I, well, hopefully I'll have time in the next few weeks, probably not before the next video, I'll have time to look at, uh, what was it called again? TubeBuddy, and optimize my channel and just see what happens. And also, you know, there's things that you could accidentally do something or say something in a video that YouTube just go, do you know what, you can't monetize, you can't have a channel anymore, you can't do all of these things. So I could fall foul of that. And in which case, then it would be a case of, well, that's it. I've got to stop. Because this is not going to be lucrative for me. I don't... Because one of the things that, if you look up how to be successful at this kind of thing, one of the things that you get asked or you have to be able to articulate is what make oh, what makes you different? What is it that you're trying to do? Well, I'm not really doing anything. I'm driving mostly rubbish old cars, rubbish condition. They're not rubbish. The 996 isn't rubbish. This isn't rubbish. An MGB isn't rubbish, but. Mine are all a bit crusty, a bit, you know, rough around the edges, but that's fine. Um, and so you've got to go in and say, well, actually, which tags are you going to do? What's your video called? Well, mine are mostly called Porsche 912, the milk run, Porsche 996, the milk run. Um, and I can just make it um, not lifestyle. Not, I don't have a lifestyle kind of thing going on, vibe, if you call it that. But I could just do general day-to-day -day life, mental health, um, video blogging, blogging, and just see where that goes. But, you know, I've been doing this, these videos for quite a while now, and they just started off very specific about buying across the old 996. By the way, I'm still, I probably started looking at those just a little bit more now to see if they're around. And I've just seen a 2002 996 I can't remember if it's a C4S Carrera 4S no it's not 4S Carrera 4 or Carrera it's probably Carrera it's Tiptronic and it's got a gearbox problem it doesn't work and guess what it's got two days left on the auction and it's at 8,100 so what does that mean for mine? I don't know. But there, there is a very real possibility that I might have to sell this car so I can pay the bills. Um, but I'm hoping that it won't come to that. Uh, I'm gonna put more effort into what I'm doing here, make it a bit slicker. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll rank my videos. So I said rank, rank, rank my videos. Um, so they surface to people and when they search for certain things and there'll be um, you know more traffic going through them more people will see more people will subscribe <coughs> and I can see whether 
do you know what, it's worthwhile putting all that effort in because if I said, well actually I'm going to give myself three months to go all out and I'm going to go to the events and I'm going to meet people, I'm going to, everyone seems to be podcasting, I'm, I'm, would I have enough to say podcasts? Well I could actually talk forever. Um, but I want to meet up with Michael from Porch Cooled uh, and I want to go to various other events. I, I don't know what the answer is, uh, but what's this space? Because I haven't had time to think about it. I've literally just resigned from my job. Uh, I've just heard back from my sister. The seat's place again. I will literally be lying down in a minute. Um, I've just heard back from my sister about the, um, the embroidery. I need to get some stuff printed, uh, t-shirts and stuff. So I am in the process of doing all of these things. I haven't had a chance to process that in my head. Um, but once I have, I'll come back with another video. And fingers crossed, we will be, well, we won't be anything. Uh, I'll have a plan. And a plan that's kind of realistic. Because that's what my wife said to me. She said, well, what happens if your black cab driver stuff just takes off? It's not going to just take off. It just needs to not die. Um, and I think the thing is, I've become sort of very, uh, a very, I've become very loyal to the people who've been really loyal and supportive. And it's almost like, well, what if there's more people? Will I be cheating on the loyal? Sort of viewers and people who I message regularly and we talk about stuff and things like that so I'm, I'm just I'm just in a weird place in my head where I can't think straight and once I've stepped away from work and the whole hamster wheel thing slows down I can barely see over the steering wheel at the moment um, then I'll be better positioned to uh, take the next step now in the meantime I'm on a country lane and I'm going quite quickly, I'm doing 100 kilometers an hour and the, obviously the tracking and everything is way off uh, so, and I don't have seat belts so uh, yeah, I need to concentrate anyway, thank you for tuning in look out for the next video, hit subscribe, hit like um, and I'll get back to you soon, thanks